Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. It was a good day for me. It's work, everything. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Uh, tomorrow we're having a barbecue and stuff for, for my birthday. So today I just, I worked and chilled out. So tomorrow I'll work and come home to a nice birthday celebration of barbecue and cake. Can't be beat. Um, Sorry about the big old baggy undershirt, but I got home today and just got into some baggy ass clothes and just chilled out. Um, what did I wear today though? Um, I went with one that I surprisingly like because when you smell it, you're immediately thinking Invictus. And you know me in Invictus. Well, I've said before, I don't dislike Invictus. I do like like it it's just all over the place and this one i surprisingly like and probably will wear actually will wear again and it's a one of the four dollar five dollar dupes from preferred it's called bold oak be your strongest um i like how they give you batch codes on the for those of you who are wondering the batch number is five two nine nine um <laughs> uh my understanding it's a dupe of Bulgari. uh wood essence i'm not 100 percent sure on that i could be wrong so don't nail me to the cross if i am um so how did i wear it uh i went with four of my moisturizer one two shirt on one two one two one two um just enough uh lasted about five hours projected for about an hour maybe a little more not much more but we'll say an hour and um What, what do I get from it? What, what, I mean, it's Invictus with, with a, a nice strong oak wood mid and again, another wood, I'm not sure which wood in the base and a nice musk. It's not bad at all, at all. Not even a bad spray for a cheap dude. Yeah, it's got that bubblegum type sweetness, fruity bubblegum sweetness. Pretty prominent. I mean, it's Invictus. Once you spray it, you're like, oh, I see. Yeah, I get the Invictus comparison. It's it's Invictus. It's basically Bulgari's twist on Invictus. Um, but with this nice woody amber woody too and and there is an oak you can definitely smell the oak in it um see what what do i get from the smell the very first blast is some citrus very sweet like i said bubble gummy fruit sweetness and that lasts about a half hour 40 minutes and then it's it's still there after that but it kind of takes a backseat more to the uh it's a wood there's some oak some lavender um some carnate, not carnation. Uh, oh my God, violet in it, you know. Um, that's there for a couple hours and then dries to a skin scent and it's just a musky, woody base. Not on play, that sweetness is there from start to finish. It's just, it's not the main player after a half hour, 40 minutes. Um, but it's a sweet scent, it's a woody scent and a musky scent. That's pretty much it. And this is why I do these days with, I had a few people message me over the last little bit saying they really like the way I give them what it smells like and not a bunch of notes because they don't, and I get it. There's a lot of clones, people, there's a lot of clones out there that every one of you guys has looked at and seen the notes and it's like, this doesn't smell anything like it. Um, or you get them guys on here, just give you a note breakdown. I used to do that and to most people who haven't, don't have five, six hundred bottles of cologne, smell thousands over 30 years. They're not going to understand that. And that's fine. Uh, you're going to pick up on notes, but you're not going to pick up on the nuances and stuff. And I, and I get that. That's why a lot of, and I appreciate that. And that's why I started doing these days with and stuff. A, so I could get out a video basically every day or every other day. And B, so I could just tell you what it smells like. I could give you a list of notes. I'm sure this has friggin' heliotrope and ambergris and 
and Vivation Vetifer and, 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 and Tonka, you know, shit. All that. But no, it is a fruity, sweet, woody, musky scent. Boom. That's done. And you, a lot of you people have reached out and said you just like the way I do that. So I'm going to keep doing that. No more of these long note videos. They're just boring. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I get from the smell. I gave you the performance. Um, compliment factor, pretty high. I got like three compliments today, all from young girls that I work with. So it's definitely targeted more to a youthful market, if you will. But anybody can wear it. Um, I'd even say girls could wear it if they wanted to. If you're if you're a confident woman, you could wear it. It's not quite unisex, but you know, like I said there's some tobacco in there too, like tobacco leaf. It's just a nice scent. It's just a surprisingly so far one of my favorite Invictus like scents, you know, with a twist. So that's it guys. Yeah, that was a day with. Uh, I gotta get going. I gotta get ready. Shower and everything, get ready to go to bed, get up for work in the morning, come home and have my barbecue and cake. I'll be back with my birthday party scent tomorrow. All right, guys, peace, love, be good to each other.